All right, so a local company has kind of switched gears in this whole coronavirus crisis. They went from 3D printing, uh, 3D models and art and different medical devices to now exclusively 3D printing masks. Take a look at this. <laughs> All right, today we are at Da Vinci's 3D Lounge. This is the owner, Alex, and we're in Lake Park. Their business has completely changed over the last week, week and a half. They are now producing one of the hottest items around the globe, a splash shield for our healthcare workers. This is very in style. <laughs> this is very in right now. Another hot item right now. The doctor will see you now. So that's the part in the 3D printing community. Uh, that's one of the beauty, uh, beautiful things about this is that we can share those types of files and then everybody can start printing. Yeah. So collectively, we could be the largest manufacturing company in the world because yeah. There's just so many of us. What do you normally do with your 3D printers? On any given day, we could be 3D printing uh, anything from a board game to uh, you know some medical device. This is printing part of the mask right now. That's right, the visor portion of the mask. Cool. Right now, we're averaging anywhere between 10 to 12 uh, an hour. So you're just pumping them out and sending as them out? As fast as we can, yeah. yeah. So you're basically giving them all the parts, and then they put them together when they get to right, so the to... hospital, the home, wherever they're going. That's correct. I like red. So you have the shield, the elastic. The little tie. The little ties, and these are 3D printed as well? That's correct. And how many are you sending off at a time? Uh, a lot of batches are in batches of 10, but we have uh, batches of 50, and right now we're working on batches of up to 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> Not so good with the gloves. We've done probably about 150. Oh, wow. Um, but today, there should be about 200 that go out. You're one of the few people that has Lysol. Right. Okay, let's do this. Let's see if I can put this together. Oh, look at you with the tricks. Because you got to stretch it. Oh, easy peasy. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Oops. Oh my god. Yeah, we're trying to conserve on it. Because I the got hair. Lysol all over the front. Great. <laughs> well, you know it's splash resistant. <laughs> I had to do it without Roby. Yeah. 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 It wasn't as funny without you, Roby. I will tell you that. <laughs> and in the state that we're in right now. All right, Jim Lucas is the president and CEO of Legal Graphic Works, which is a company that works with Da Vinci's 3D Lounge, and they are partnering partnering to make these medical shields. So, Jim, kind of what started this? Well, as you, as you mentioned earlier, we use 3D printing in the uh, litigation support field all the time to produce things that are easier for a jury to understand. So what we did was we didn't want to, you know, lose our employees. We, we have a great team. We care about them very much. It's a, it's a very close-knit family. We wanted to be resourceful and try to figure out another way that we could use our skill sets to try to keep people busy. So we've worked with Alex quite, you know, for, I've worked with him for 30 years in different businesses and things. And um, we have 19 employees. We've been able to keep everybody busy. Everybody, you know, we got a production line. We help in shipping. We answer the phones. We do the accounting, um, ordering of supplies. And Alex's group just um, basically handles the manufacturing. So it's really the way that Legal Graphic Works and um, Da Vinci's 3D Lounge have adapted in mm -hmm. this environment to keep their employees working and also to help out um, people in our healthcare um, field right now that are really struggling yeah and you know it's a win for everyone because like you said all those paychecks are still being sent out yeah you're making medical equipment that's desperately needed uh, I mean th I've seen this story play out yeah. in multiple places across our area and it's really it's one of the positives yeah that we've seen in our community to be able to adapt to this Jim thank you so much for thank joining you. us this thank morning we appreciate it appreciate from it. a distance <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, I might sing the whole song by the end of this